Okay. All right, I was, I was down there. I had to get up here. That's beautiful. Don't show Tina this video. She won't be happy.
So uh, I stopped to get gas at a little town called Carver's. Neat little town and then the drive up here on 376 to Kingston was absolutely amazing. But while I was at Carver's getting gas, a gentleman come up and told me, he said, hey, if you're just out here, he saw my Virginia tags and he saw that I was in shorts. <laughs> And uh, and it's cold, but you know, it's, it's not bad. And he he said, uh, go stop at Kingston if you got the time. Just drive up through there, see the um, the lake. Absolutely beautiful. Wow. I I don't even have words to express the beauty right now because it is beautiful. These the snow on these mountains. guys the uh, lonely
loneliest road in America is really not that lonely. I mean, I've in the last 20 miles, I've seen two cars. So, just say. Hey guys, I stopped here off of uh, Route 50, the loneliest road in America, so I could check out the uh, petroglyphs on this area, so it's pretty cool. There were some rocks up there. All right, I was, I was down there. I had to get up here. It's beautiful. Don't show Tina this video. She won't be happy. <laughs> okay, I was I was up there and now I climbed back down. Actually, uh climbing down is always scarier than going up. Well, you know, whatever. But uh I had a something in my boot. Anyway, this beautiful little spot right off of uh, the loneliest road and about 40 miles from Eureka so and give me some exercise so this is cool
this little hike is supposed to end in an overlook so we'll see Oh wow. I don't think this, I sort of made my own overlook. I made it. <clears throat> wow. Man, this is nice up here. It's a little cool. It's uh, about 45, I think, but with the wind blowing, it seems a little cooler. But if the wind's not blowing, it feels pretty nice. This is a really nice little recreation area. I mean, you could come and stay at the Kingston campground, which looked really nice. And then come up here for the you know morning or afternoon and uh, there's picnics here there's uh, picnic tables here and there's uh, the petroglyph sites there's rocks that you can scramble on and like I just did which is fun and just a little hike and pretty neat little place so if you're ever on the loneliest road, break the monotony and check out the petroglyphs area. It's pretty cool. I gotta make a turn right here. Make sure there's no traffic coming that way. Make sure there's no traffic coming that way. Y'all see any? I think I'm good to go. What do you think? guys as we are approaching Eureka I just want to remind you that I'm staying at the uh, Jackson House Hotel which is reportedly haunted and the basically Eureka's haunted Ghost Adventures did a, an episode here you can, so I stopped in Eureka on my last video that I, I did on the loneliest road in America and um, I stopped and ate at the I think it was the Owl Club restaurant I believe and I had a chili cheeseburger which was actually really good so probably be eating there again unless I, uh, I, I can't, unless the hotel has a uh, a restaurant or something like that but I'm gonna be spending the night checking out the town uh, got a good night's sleep in Manhattan I had a uh, fun filled day today and uh, so we're almost in Eureka probably about uh, 28 miles so okay uh, this road's getting a little crowded If you look in my rear view mirror, well, that don't work, but uh, if you look back there, you 
can almost see a car. He's way back there, but I passed him. It's dangerous. So, anyway. Hey, on my on my first trip to the loneliest road in America, you really need to check that video out because it was snowing and everything was white and it amazes me that we still have uh, white peak mountains because so I guess they've gotten a lot of snow around here but uh, don't forget to check that video out I'll try to make sure I remember to put an end screen uh, Alan from Las Vegas and beyond he's been cussing at me because I don't put in in like the end screens uh, at the end screens put little videos that you can go to next so uh, I'm learning it's it's uh, this YouTube stuff's a work in progress so learn a lot from Alan he's a good guy this is getting uh, pretty hectic because in the last about 10 12 miles I've seen two pickup trucks, a little car, and I passed the little car, and then you see this, this van pulled off on the little dirt road over here on the side, and they're obviously cooking meth over there, so it's getting really hectic. I mean, you got to keep your eye on the road all the time. You don't know what's going to happen. Won't you stay?